<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I finally managed to get one of the Home Depot 12-foot skeletons for my yard. My car broke, and I was stuck in the parking lot with a 12-foot skeleton waiting for a tow truck. This is like... This is like a writing prompt extraordinaire. Good morning, chat. I just had to read that and crack up a little bit at Nobod's expense. Sorry, Nobod. Uh, <laughs> rip. But also, lol. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my gosh, how are we doing, chat? This has been a very Monday, Wednesday. Beaveroni! I was thinking, like, when I was thinking back, about the show, and I just recorded the podcast today. There's so many people I didn't get to, I got to say hey to, spend a minute with, but never got back around to. And you were on that list. It was great seeing you. Great seeing you for a few minutes at night. Great seeing you at the plotter table. Are you are you recovered? Because plotter was off the chain all weekend. So also thank you for 15 months of subbing. You rule. You rule. Uh, but yes, what a mess. Um, one of these shows, I need to get vendors to do a uh, a pre-show uh, box weight and then a post-show shipping back weight just to see how many pounds of items they they uh, left less with. Uh, so, good morning, all the hobbies. Are you recovered? You're not recovered because I talked to you yesterday. What is up, Dustin? You're almost back from the dead. I actually set my alarm to get up at a normal time today, and I woke up ahead of the alarm. So I set my alarm for seven, and I woke up ahead of the alarm. So maybe I'm back on. Maybe I'm back on track. In Atlanta for the week, probably won't get to any stationary stores though. Well, there's not many. Uh, you could hit the new Kino Kania, or you could hit uh, Archer Stationery. I'm guessing that's still there in Ponce, but there's not much, unfortunately. I mean, there was really nothing before Kino Kaneya came, and that was only, what, last summer? I slept like 12 hours in three days, so it took me a while to recover for sure. Bye, Apple Tater! Great seeing you in San Francisco. Thanks for the raid. Can we get a shout-out to Bye, Apple Tater? Y'all need to go give them a follow. Um, they were just doing their San Francisco haul. Um, sorry, I'm turning off this phone. So, yes, go give them a call. Go give them a call. Give them a follow. Like we don't need people. Call, we don't need people calling you by a potato, but we'll give them give them a follow. Blog wall to twenty six months. Let's go. <clears throat> SF was the best. This community is the best. Um, it really is. And I said as much. Dang it! I'm clicking too many buttons. Uh, I said as much on the podcast today. Um, I can't even remember like the the actual discussion, but like. I think the context was, you know, like we talk about, like say maybe some of the issues that uh, Pinchos have with like crowds or things like that. But every like all the vendors and all the attendees come from such a like a good place, like a positive, like well-meaning, happy place. It's easy to, um, it's easy to like have these conversations and know that everyone respects each other and and all that stuff. Look like a claustrophobe's nightmare. It would have been. Like some of the pictures, I'm gonna share my pictures on Instagram when I get a chance. But it was a lot. It was a lot. Hi, are you able to share what color combos may be coming this week on Spoke for the Click? Offhand, no. Just because our uh, the spreadsheets are just so ginormous. I'm trying to think if there's anything off the top of my head. I think it's just gonna be a little bit more variety in combos of what you've already seen. There's definitely a, hmm, I can't say for sure. <laughs> Sorry. You would think I would know, know better. Um, but like, there's not like hot pink coming or cyan coming, right? There's, it's just a few more things that we haven't gotten finished yet. <clears throat> Good morning, chat. Love your faces. Love your faces. We have purple. Purple sold out. Yeah, the afternoons were chill. Yeah, and it was easy to get away from the crowds. Yeah, I didn't do enough getting away from the crowds. <laughs> Speaking of Plotter, David Sparks uh, has discovered Plotter. Oh, no. We, I got to talk to him. That's funny. 
Look for an orange last night. We have more orange, more purple. We just, we couldn't build enough. We had to build the most variety to start. And then we'll, the first things after that, we'll start rebuilding the things that sold out quickest. So they should be back pretty soon, like at like next week. Like we already have them, but we just couldn't build them enough, build enough times. But like things like purple and orange, we have plenty of. At some level of size and complexity, you have to go to database software for databases. Which data, what are we running a database for? McPenthusiast, 15 months of sub and let's go. How about that tactile turn flipper pin? I didn't see that. What is it? I saw a tactile turn playing cards? Not playing cards, like, uh, like magic cards. Oh, you're not inventory spreadsheet. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, I didn't say the, I don't, I don't know that the inventory is in there, uh, but the color combinations, uh, color combinations were in there. A switch. Oh, like, oh, I did see it. It's like a, like a light switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click, click, click like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Looks interesting. Maybe it'll come in one of the limited ones. I wish I had gone to the SF Pin Show, but it was the right decision not to go. For sure. For sure the right decision. Whoa, whoa. So, uh, I just wrapped the podcast. I'm going to go shipping soon. We're not streaming today. We'll stream shipping stream tomorrow. Um, I started yesterday. Um, I had to rearrange the shipping department get my workflow in a better space. It's still not great. It's like I need to get another table already or some different shelves or something. I'm having to, I had to spread out my space a little bit more. I was very self-contained in the shipping space, which y'all would see me just like turn and move and grab. And now I've kind of outgrown that. So I'll have to see what things we can figure out. But I spent most of the day yesterday, I spent like an hour or two rearranging and cleaning the shop. Then I started shipping and we had some, um, some things, some kinks to work out in the shipping flow and the packing pulling. Adam Zero, thanks for the hundred biddies. Appreciate you so much. What is that little salt? I like that salty emote. Good morning, Slumberland. Time for an IKEA trip. Yeah, I I, I got to figure out what I want first and what layout would work the best. What I need is uh, standing desks. So at a minimum, like need lifts. I like now that my space is more spread. I kind of want standing desks which would change the shelving ideas. Um, good morning, Brad and PA Chatsworth. Was Chatsworth the, uh, was Chatsworth the robot um, in Fallout? Was that, was that their name? That Matt, Matt Berry's character played in the, uh, in the TV show? Sanding desks are very expensive. I know. I'm thinking I'll get one for stream when I want one. Ikea has some affordable ones, yeah. I know. So, like, I think for the shipping department, I would just lift my tables. Um, get some Alex cabinets. Yeah, the Alex cabinets are pretty sick. That's kind of like the go-to. Codsworth. Codsworth. I love Matt Berry. Isn't that his name? Matt Berry? That plays uh, Laszlo. Laszlo is the best character in um, what we do in the shadows. Discuss. I thought it was going to be Nadja. But I think uh, I think it's Laszlo. If you're getting standing desks without motors, not expensive. Yeah, I don't care about the motor. Like I don't need like the fancy desks. Like my one, like where I ship in the. Uh, this is Colin Robinson Erasure. He's okay. I mean, they're all good. There's no bad characters. Nandor's probably the worst of the vampires. Um. Uh, New Sailor Tea Time coming. Uh-oh. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. So yeah, I have a I just have a I just have a table on lifts in the pin attic room that I stand at. But then the spoke stuff is all like spread out on these desks now. And like I'm standing up getting picking put like it's fine, but it's it's not gonna work. Uh it's not gonna work long term. I need I'm gonna need to like buy some new 
do do a new setup. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Costco has a great stand up sit down desk, but only four inches and maybe two seventy. What do you mean? Oh, I mean only four feet. Four feet maximum height. I'll have to see. Like I don't know what height's good for me. Don't forget Jackie Daytona. Oh, sorry. I'm not showing y'all this. Oh, Toby, chill. So what is the, what are the tea times actually here? What are we doing here? Afternoon tea. I need to get the, okay, so this is like a, is that tea and crumpets? What is this? I need to get a, uh, a translated version here. Oh, I'm going to have to get Mike on this. Yeah, that white pen looks good. I did like the, uh, ooh, look at that. It's orange. I'm going to have to get um, scones and jam. The clotted cream on the jam. All right, we're going to have to, this is going to next week's show. I'm going to have to get Mike's, uh, Mike's take on this. We could be in for it here, chat, but they usually do a pretty good job. I did like, uh, whoops, this, this is a closer up. Yeah, that's wild. The little call out right here. All right. The um, the Bungu box, uh, the silver one, whatever it was called. Silver silver linings. That was really pretty. I like the silver linings one better than this one. The uh, blue one here. I like silver linings better than this one. Probably did the burgundy and gold beige better. That's a classic for sure. All right. I wonder, hang on, let me write this down so I remember for next week. I wonder if um, Sailor knew this Tea Time series was going to be a hit. Like, did they have a strong feeling when they launched it? Because they really leaned into this every year. And that's one thing I do appreciate, even though I talk about like how much stuff they make. Like, this is when you do a, like, a continued series and... You kind of elaborate or expand on it every year. Like this one works. Yeah, that ink's going to be a problem probably. People love tea. It'll be a hit. You never know. Because they didn't... Uh... Were the first ones kind of tame? I don't know. They weren't really tame. I'm obsessed with the scone one. It's it's really good. Like, have they made any bad ones of these? They're really, they, they're doing a good job with these. Full credit. Let's see if I can get a translation here. All right. World's Tea Time number four, afternoon tea. We've had four tea times? I was thinking there was only three, but I'm missing one. Fountain pens, ballpoint pen, and bottle ink for fountain pens will be available starting September 7th. Wow, that's quick. Elegant afternoon tea time originating in 19th century England. The style of filling tea and tea foods with a three-tier stand is still popular even today. Yes. I don't, what's the blue one? Boss Baker Chris finally back from SF going through my haul. I kind of did. I inked up my pens today. What is this supposed to be, chat? Is this like cakes? Can someone help me with this one? That ink looks close to the Christmas tea ink they did in 2022. Maybe it's the plates. I see it now. It's the it's the it's the plates. I you're you're exactly right. That just made it even better. Whoops. Hi. Now as a set. It's oh man. Damn, that's they did a pretty good job. They did a pretty good job here. Not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna let Mike uh we're gonna let Mike go first on this one next year because I actually really like this. Yeah, how is there not a blue ink? I mean, because it's like the easiest thing to do. But you still just do it, right? You still just do it. But have they done 
Have they done multiple inks for these? Like when the first one came out, there was more than one ink, right? I can't remember. Man, spam text. The ink always looks like tea. Well, the first one looked like coffee, which was good for me. Okay, I'm way in, way in on this. So next week, like we already had to, we already had to cut out the pilot of Roshizuku ink this week because we ran out of time. So that'll be next week. Sailor Tea Time ink will be next week, and then I'm gonna. I should have time to go through the planner stuff once uh, Hobonichi finishes their launch stuff here uh, on the first. I should have time to uh, to get that done. So we're gonna have a busy sh busy show next week. So yeah, good job on this one, Sailor. Very much like. Let's see how many other pins they've released. Fountain is that a fountain pen though? What are we doing here? Like I I don't have the mindset to take this seriously right now. So we're just going to skip that one. What is this? I haven't looked at Sailor for a while. Thanks for sharing the discount code for the Inca Pets. Nice. Profit Junior. These chat, I would pass on. I want to try these again. One of these years, they're going to make an entry-level pen that's good. Their steel nib entry-level pens tend to be sketchy what is this oh these are ink colors that's pretty oh so chat when we get to next week sorry i'm really scatterbrained this morning when we get to next week and we talk about the aroshizuku inks is uh what's the what's the yellow one i wrote it down somewhere Stop it, I like the cools. We can all like different things, Slumbo and Studio. I will say I drastically discount Sailor's entry-level pens for me. Big, not a fan. Big, not a fan. I'm a fan of whatever this one is, though. Um, the Tuzu nib's good. I will give you that. Tuzu nib, you're not wrong. The Tuzu's also $50. High Ace Neo was good, but they don't make that anymore. It was too cheap. It was like $50, $15. That was a good one. The the cools and the pro fits and the compasses have all been kind of whack to me. Just me, though. We can all like different things, Chad. Um, did Pilot... Did Pilot put the Orochizuku ink on Instagram? Fighting more hot takes Sailor's glory days are in its past. I wouldn't go that far. I still think they might make the best ink on the market. All right, I don't see the new or Shizuka colors. Sailor just doesn't have Sailor just doesn't have a path to get there from here, right? They just start up here, so you got to be ready. You could argue. I you could argue it. I think I would be. I would take the opposite argument. As as hard a time as I give them, I think I would. We could save that one for your next time you interview me. Write that one on the list. Oh, I have the info. I just don't have it on this computer. Yeah, I have like the press release. Should I email it to myself? Let me see if I can get it up here real quick. Cause I want to ask you something about the color. See, I think Pilot's more boring than Sailor. But I would put my money on Pilot. I'll tell you that. Okay, if you had to invest in stock between Sailor and Pilot today, knowing what you know as of today, which you get to invest in one company or investing in Sailor or Pilot? Pilot. Yeah. Interesting. It's pretty universal. That's shocking to me. 
Not that I didn't think Pilot would be the runaway winner, but I thought Sailor would get something. But I get it. I think that's a fair question. And I think the answer is pretty telling. All right, let me find this. <clears throat> How are the robots doing? I have no idea. All right, let's see if I can find this real quick. It's about the nibs, yeah. Okie dokie. Let me open this somewhere else. Yes. All right. Yeah, the Sailor's Robotics Division. I knew what you meant. Hot take, nobody should buy stock in any fountain pen company. Yeah, well, I would agree. Sailor would argue they're not a fountain pen company, and Pilot would argue that they're not a fountain pen company. What would, would Platinum? I don't know that Platinum could argue that. <laughs> Platinum might actually be the fountain pen company out of those three. <laughs> All right, so here's the new inks. So we'll talk about them. Again, we're going to do this on the podcast. Uh, T minus four days to Hobonichi. We were just talking about that. I'm going to be able to do that next week. So these are the new colors. This is uh, Rika. It's a, what does it say? Snow crystal. A blue ink reminiscent of the serene dance of snowflakes descending from a crisp winter sky. This blue captures the intense purity of a frosty panorama shimmering with life's quiet moments i can write a lot about pens but if you told me to write the snow description for this pen i mean for this ink like i can't come up with that stuff this i think i'm gonna say straight up all three of these inks look amazing my question is toro the lantern is it different than daiko kuten I'll bring y'all back here in just a second. That black looks amazing. All right, so this is the this is the hundred hundred and first anniversary Daiko Kuten. I mean, I know it's just a bottle picture here, and this is Toro. Psycho Kuten is awesome. It's one of my favorite inks. What would be your pilot like description of Fire Square or Fire Cube? Yeah, I should work on that one day. Does anyone have a plotter mini? I have a mini five. I don't have the mini though. Is that what you mean? <laughs> Nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. I love that. <laughs> So, I love this ink. So this is it in the middle. It's a yellow that's actually legible. Little golden color. That red might win you over. I'm 100% getting this, this red. This is the most interesting color, I think. Siyun Jio Go. This red, you're actually. This might actually be the pen, the ink for uh, this pen. Like I think it's, I think it's the most interesting of the three. The blue's the blue, right? It's gonna be an awesome blue. Like I'm all in on the blue. The yellow, is it close to Daikoku Ten? I don't know. It looks a little bit more golden, but that's just like a product image, right? This was my image. We'll see. I think this is gonna crush because this is the most different one. So the three that are going away are, I wrote them down, two pinks, where'd it go? Is it not in this list? Um, 
Sutsuji. Uh, sorry, I don't know I'm off the top of my head. Kosomoso, Sutsuji, and Kirisame. Yeah. Um, so when I was looking at Pilot's Inks recently, I noticed they had like five pinks and five greens, at least five blues. So I thought we might lose one of the blues, honestly. And I knew we'd lose one of the pinks. I thought we'd lose one of the greens. I thought we'd lose blue, green, and pink. These will be in November. So it's still we still got a while. We still got a while. Um, I don't think we'll miss uh, Kirisame. I think Tsutsuji will be the most missed. Kosomosu. There's some closer pinks. We're losing the pinky, like I know, I but I have a I have a bottle of Sutsuji. I mean, I think I'd probably lean towards, uh, um, was it Yuyaki? I am surprised Sutsuji got cut. I like it better than some of the other ones, but it's okay. I accept my place in the Kirisame Same Lovers Tiny Island. Yeah, it's a weird ink. I think that one. The problem I always had with Kirisame was it always looked better in pictures than the results that I got. Yeah, Yamabuto. Sorry, that's the one I was thinking. Like, I'll live with my Bala Sutsuji and just switch into Yamabuto, even though it's much darker. I have a lot of pink, so I'm good. I would rather they cut the new pink. <laughs> I'm with you on that. I will sign up for that. I, I don't think any of the three new, last year's new inks were that, or like stalwarts. I think the bamboo looking one's probably the best. Um, but yeah, I think this one is going to do exceptionally well. The green is amazing. Yeah. Which green? The regular green or the light one? I like the light one. The firefly one. Yes. The firefly one's the best. So, we'll see. But these, these will do well. This is better than last. Their two years ago. Was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. The blues are too good to cut any of them. That probably would um, that probably would have some riots um, involved. Let's see here. What's the easiest place to see these? These are much better than last year. I totally agree. So yeah, like what blue would you get rid of? Um, who's was Asagal? Someone said if they they get rid of that one, I riot. I think it's probably Amaero is probably the one that has to go. If you could cut a purple pens, yeah. Probably Amaero. Oh, I just want the bottles. Sorry. I'm trying to show you something here. Let me do this. All right. So these are sorted by popularity on jet pins. Shinkai, you get rid of Shinkai. I don't think that'll happen. So these are sorted by popularity. What is the time frame here? I want to say it's like the last 60 days or 90 days. I've asked them about this before. How close are Shinkai and Sukio? They're surprisingly different, but like if you got rid of Shinkai, I would, as much as I love Shinkai, I think I would keep Sukio. If my choices are Sukio and Shinkai to keep in the lineup, I keep Sukio. How do both compare to Pilot Blue Black? We'll do a test on those. I think Sukio is the outlier of the three. All right, so shockingly, Black is is way up there. Uh, Fuyu Sogun is also one I don't love. I'm surprised. Actually, that probably should have gone instead of Kirisame. Fuyu Sogun. Um, Ajisai, that should probably go. There's Asagao. 
I'm a Eero. Kujaku is way down here. That surprises me. This entire discussion leads us to ponder when will Brad do his pin attic 100 for ink? We should probably do a shorter number like that. I think we could do like 50. Whew, that'd be tough. All right, so bottom four. Chiku Ren, that surprises me. Yu Yaki, that surprises me. Hotaru B does not surprise me, even though that's the best one. Uh, I don't know. These are all good inks. You can see the ones that got canceled or got, got sold out. Such Suji, that's pretty darn good, right? Versus Hana Ikata. You can only get down to 50, don't count on just Yeah, I take that back immediately. I take that back immediately. I like Tsutsuji over Momiji. Kosamosu. I mean, Yamabuto is just great. There's not there's not a lot of bad there's not many bad Oroshizuku inks. Just some of them are a little bit duplicative. Like Emerald Green, Pine Tree Dew, and Kujaku. Like you could probably scrap one of these three. Right? Without much hesitation. Between these one, two, three. Between those three, one of those can go. Because then we still have some of the other colors up here. We have the regular green. I thought there was one other one. Maybe I was thinking of one of these. You don't think that looks like it in real life? I think that's actually darker than it shows in real life. I think it's lighter than this, do you? Or do you think it's darker? Or what, what do you think is different? I think it's more... I don't think the writing is very... You think it's darker? Is it more like the writing than the swatch? It would be easy to do five groups of ten. That's kind of how they had it set up. Because I think my writing looks like the swatch. Which I would never choose this one over like Tsutsuji. Y'all think it's more like the writing? I could see that because these look like cotton swabs. Yeah. I just need to use it more. I Like I'm always just going to go here, right? I'm always going to go here compared to these other two. Well, both of these got run. So, Kosomosu, gone. Sutsuji, gone. All right, see you, Neighbor Villain. Yeah, one of these blues is on the chopping block next year. Amairo or Asagao. One of these three, actually. Ajisai, Amairo, and Asagao. Those are the one of those is gone next year. Maybe one of these greens too. Not Kujaku though. Probably Siuro. Because these are the two new ones here, plus the pink. Like out of the new inks, last year two of the three are at the bottom. We won't see that with the new ones this year. Where'd it go? Oh, I guess I closed it. Oh well. Kosamosu. Is that how you how she says it? I don't know how she would say it. So anyway, we'll talk about this next week on the podcast. It's good stuff. Um, I inked up. Asagao is close enough to Namiki Blue. I think Amairo. Out of these two, this one Amairo, and Asagao. That's Amairo. And then that's Asa, that's where's Asagao? I don't have it on here. She. I think Ajisai might go. Ajisai, Amaira. Okay, so um, I'm going to next week. I'm going to pick the next three to go. When we do. When we do the stream, I'll pick my next three on the chopping block. How about that? See if I can get in trouble. 
Inaho wasn't popular until they discontinued it. Was that the brown one? Or which was Chestnut Horse? Caffeine, phone break done. Back to worky work. I'm trying to avoid worky work today. Which one's Chestnut Horse? Weird green brown? I don't remember Inaho. Inaho. <laughs> Morning, Skogsy. <laughs> Skogsy and I got very close at the San Francisco pin show. <laughs> Sukushi. Okay, I didn't get that one. <laughs> I enjoyed three bites of Skogsy's burrito. Accidentally. Accidentally. I know. The kicker is that we actually ate Chipotle. That was the challenge. All right, Toby's yelling at me, so we're going to do a couple other things first. And then we'll take him out, because then we're going to take a lunch break. All right, so I did... Brady, record my name so I can have my folks' name. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Did you guys share it, Lady in the Tramp style? Not exactly, but I got three bites into it, and uh, Scogsy was up getting drinks, and then I realized like I didn't have beans on mine. Um, and I was like, oh, there's black beans here, which I, I like beans. That's just too much for a burrito, so I just tend to skip the beans on the burritos, and... Uh, Iris was on the same trade because Scott Scoxy was so nice he paid for my burrito. Um, <laughs> and then I go, Zach, I got some bad news. Uh, pretty sure I'm three bites in. I'm three bites deep into your burrito. Uh, he goes, that's okay by me. Hand it over. <laughs> it was like instant. He didn't even think about it. He's like, ah, that's good by me. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> How can you not have beans on a burrito? I love beans. I love black beans. I love pinto beans. I can have beans on a burrito because um, because they are too bulky. They're, you, well, you're already getting a gigantic burrito. Um, hopefully, I don't know if Toasty's burrito picks will ever make it into the light of day. I'm okay if they don't. Oh, the hobbies. Let's go. Five gifted subs. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you for being... Uh, the pen show Uber this week. Thank you for all the things. Thank you for handing off stuff and, uh, for getting to ask me to pay you for it. So, uh, we need to take care of that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we will do that. If you got a gifted sub, tell Kimberly, thanks. Check out your emotes. Toasty's burrito pics are on Slack. Nice. I figured they'd live in infamy. I mean, I, I wouldn't pose for the picture if I d wasn't wanting it to be shared. It was, uh, excellent. Yeah, but like I could have eaten Scogsy's burrito and I don't know. He would have been bored with my – my burrito ordered that night was pretty boring. His was a little bit better, I think. A little bit better and a little bit spicier, which was good. His was good. So anyway, <laughs> I'm so distracted. Sorry, to Toby. I think Toby just gave me a mad face. He just came like – he just came and flopped himself down right next to me. And I heard him uh, borking to go out, so we'll take him out in another second. All right, so we inked up, inked up the pens. I know Toby does need to go out. We'll go in just a second. Show you Toby. He's just, he's super mad right now. He's not even going to look at me. You're not even going to look at me, are you? He's super mad. He's pup set. He is pup set. He just literally, he jumped up there and went flump. So yeah, he is pup set right now. Who makes that super pen? This one? Or this one, or well, I don't know what you're talking about. This one, this one. All right, see you, Tuli. This one is Stilo Art, which I've had the pen. Uh, So I did, I can't stop stepping my Pine Stilo art pen. You got a really good one. That I mean, they're all really good, but I really like the finish on yours. And the color and the pattern. So I did switch this out. So it was Diamine Oxford Blue. 
Um, Annabelle told me yesterday that I had in here, but I cleaned it out and I put in Pilot Blue Black. So I'll probably keep Pilot Blue Black in here until I get that new black red from Pilot, which would be pretty good. This nib is so good. So, Pilot Blue Black is one of the best stockings out there. Let's see if we can focus. It's got a little bit of shading. Well, it's got a, more than a little bit of shading. It does have a little bit of sheen, which you probably can't see, but I can catch a little red on there, especially on the top line. Yeah, this is really good, really good. And then I inked up um, my, Heard you say Pelican makes good dry ink. Yeah, the 4001 series seem to be pretty dry. Any other ink recs on the dry side? Do y'all have Do y'all have any uh, recommendations for drier inks? I always like to hear what y'all say because I don't have too many that I can think of. Kiyo no Otos are definitely dry. That's a good call out. They just don't have a huge range of colors depending on what you want. A lot of muted colors. Like I have the black from them, the Norabiro, super dry. Three Oysters are Dry, Platinum Classics, Datcher Menace Document Inks, Colorverse Dry. So there you go. There's some some recommendations. The Kiyo Nuoto Black is great, yeah. Troublemakers Dry? I haven't. I guess I haven't used them enough. All right, so then we did our Tamanori Studio. I just have a stock extra fine nib in here. Pelican inks are dry because their pens are wet. Yes, it's like a good match. So I need to write down the whole name for this one. And I just inked this up. I don't think the ink's flowing that well yet. Because I just inked it in the converter. Because I could. And we did... Um, This is contraband to Roshizuku. I need to get this one flowing. Ido. Yeah, it's not even going yet. Well, that's a lot of threads. You can consider a nib upgrade, yeah. There we go. Sorry, this one wasn't wasn't going well until I primed it a little bit. But this is that purple, uh that's a Japan only that uh Luckily got Jacob from Food A Fan to send to me. So that's that pen. So we did kind of a purple to go with that, but you really can't see it here. Not great lines. Since it wasn't really flowing yet. And then what do y'all think I ended up choosing here? Y'all gave me some recommendations yesterday and I did end up choosing one of them. Viper probably should have been the choice, but I can never choose that over the Ackerman. Yep. So this uh, this pin barrel, after using both of those Arushi pins, this one actually has some density. So I was going to use the Daiko Kuten yellow, but uh, I wanted to go t with the green first. I'll probably do yellow next. So yeah, 
we'll do green on that. But yeah, I was tempted yellow. And I satisfied my purple needs with this one. Um, and they got my blue black in here. So yeah, really good. So those are the inks. All right, let's do a giveaway and then I'm gonna wrap it up today, chat. Go get back to shipping. Oh, one more thing I can show y'all. I said I was gonna show y'all if it came in. Um, I got the next prototype in. We're already into the, like, uh, this might be next year. I don't know if it can even be this year. So we're starting our next prototype uh, knock. So purple. So this is a more traditional spoke design. So this is the current one, which is awesome. And then this was, hey, what if we made a one like the spoke? This is this go throws back to the spoke model spoke model one mechanical pencil. So it's a much chonkier pen. But it'll be cool. It'll be cool to add to the add to the thing. And I don't think like this one we won't play around with as much as this one. This one has all kinds of modular parts in here. Part, 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 part. So like five external parts you can change. Yeah, and then this is like the throwback. This one has the medium spring on it. No option for option for clip? Yes, right here. That's your option for clip. No clip. Yeah, I'm in my chunky phase too. Champagne RT already watered. That's a good look. You miss click, clicky launch? Yeah, orange is coming right back. We just we have them in stock. We just couldn't make enough. But we literally have the parts. We just have to do the assembly. I don't know. That's pretty wide for a Kaveco clip. This is a, it's a pretty wide pin. So, like, given the time of year we're in, I don't know if we can get these in before the end of the year, but we're working on that. So, we'll see. That matte clip is chef's kiss. They came out pretty good. I might actually have to get a black pen this time because we did some PB, PVD coating on some of the black pens. I kind of want to play around with that. All right. Got to recover from SF. Facts. Facts. All right. Let's figure out a giveaway because I need to go and let this grumpy man out. And then eat lunch and then get shipping. When's restock coming for the orange? Should be next week. Like, soon. Like, they're in process right now. All right, what are we going to give away? So I have one more beginner pin giveaway. We'll hold that until next week. Um, oh, I know what I was going to do today. This is a little bit random, but I think y'all might like it. And I'll see what I can add to it here. Um... So this will be some San Fran Pin Show swag. I'll give you the rickshaw, rickshaw uh, kind of lanyard setup for the San Fran Pin Show. Single pin sleeve, lanyard style. So this is why you didn't answer your FaceTime? Yeah, I'm on mute. Rip. What's up, E? How's school going? Well, I didn't answer your FaceTime. I'll show you why. Where'd it go? Looked like you were studying to me. Look at her being big college girl out there studying. Look at her studying. That's why I didn't answer. Actually, I don't see a missed call, to be quite honest. <laughs> I have no missed calls. But <clears throat> Oh, it was like an hour and a half ago? Well, then I was recording my podcast an hour and a half ago. Bruh. Bruh. All right, so we're going to give this away. Let me see if I have a pen that can go in it. I might actually not have a pen. I'm saying this, so I better come through with something. Oh, this is a good one. This will work. This will work. Do you have a pen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth would pick out a better giveaway. 
Yeah, I don't have a missed call from you, Elizabeth. I have a, a I have the Barney pin. So this is the I love you, you love me pin. Uh, this is the uh, Pilot Nuance, I think they called this one. It's a really exceptional pin. Uh, we're going to put that in here. It's got to have something in here, right? Should have picked up the paste, FaceTime, I know. Finally have time to email about your Lamy Ink House stuff. I got a uh, while back. If I don't get that done, I'll have it with me at the Dallas show. Nice. All right, so let's do... Here. What's for lunch today, Elizabeth? All right, giveaway is open, exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. MPO, you need to re-enter. You were too soon. <clears throat> you don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide. You must be present to win. You must email me your shipping address. Hashtag awesome. So tomorrow, no lunch today, ate a late breakfast, gotcha. Including Antarctica, true. So tomorrow, we will be doing a shipping stream. I could start early if I'm, if I'm feeling enough. Like, not that early. But we'll probably go late. So, big shipping window tomorrow. I have all kinds of mess going on in there. Lots of orders to fulfill. My goal is to get done by the weekend with all the launch orders. You need a Barney pin? That's a good pin. What refills in this? I feel like it's not a ballpoint. Could be, though. It's a gel. I can't totally tell. B B E V. Oh, B. Wait. B F F V. B F F V. I don't know what that is. But I think it's gel. Do they still make this? I don't know. These always seem like a seasonal idea, right? Like they made this for the time period that it was available and then they move on to the next thing. But I haven't seen anything from the ILM, ILY. Um, range in the past little past few months this is this is a really good pen and plus this is like a ten dollar pen which like that's a little much but i really liked it maybe it didn't sell well well i think that was was the idea of this concept that they're doing um but then they did the the gel ones the gel nuance ones this isn't the nuance the the nuance is the gel one and those had to do better than this one i think but who do I, what do I know? They're cooler. They're cheaper. Like, they're half the price of this one. And they had the black, black plus color inks. What was the concept? They would just do, like, a whole series. Pens, notebooks, pen, I don't know, a few different things. And it would be whatever ILM, ILY theme was. That would be the theme and then they would kind of go away and then release the next theme and they would have different products in them. They have their own Instagram page for the ILM, ILY. I have to go check out and see if it's been updated in a while. If I were a pro golfer, I would only have Pilot and Tabasco as a sponsor. Pilot used to sponsor... Um, I've seen Pilot bags before. Probably not since the 90s, though. Maybe in the 2000s? I'll have to go look. I've seen pictures of them. When will they do the ABC thing? I don't know. They should, though. All right, let's pick a winner. Blight DM. Blight TDM. Blight TDM. Are you a first-time winner? You might be a first-time winner, and you're going to win this. Blight, are you here? Blight. Blight TDM. 
Feel bad for professional below. Yo, first time winner. Let's go. All right, Blight TDM. Email me hello at pinac.com with your shipping address. And I will get this mailed out to you probably sometime later this week. Probably not today, so no extreme rush. All right. So again, tomorrow I will be doing shipping stream. If you don't want to know what a shipping stream is, it's literally as exciting as it sounds. I will be shipping packages. Tomorrow we'll be doing spoke design work. I'll be building and shipping spoke pins right from the queue. It'll be the tape stream, yes. It'll be the tape stream. Um, although, chat, there's not as much tape now that we have tubes. It's a stream where we debate which pin company should date each other. Oh my God. We need to have a ship it, we need to have a ship it stream where we just like hook up all the uh, all the pin companies. That's an awesome idea by Apple Tater. <laughs> oh man. This podcast could go on. I mean this stream could go on for another half an hour just me thinking about this. Can you still play music? Yes. I can play music, but I don't save the VODs. They get deleted. And nor do I push put them over um, to YouTube. YouTube, they would just be mute the whole time. Muted the whole time. Just psh. So, MPO, three months of sub and one month till Dallas. Dallas should be great. Y'all are going to have a good time. I probably won't be there. I mean, I definitely won't be there. Um, yeah, by, by I probably won't be there means I definitely won't be there. Um, rap snitches, kish, knishes, I think that's not on the list. We try to keep it safe for work. Um, maybe today I'll spend some time getting some new music on the list because it's all the same songs. Because I just have a stream playlist. All right, see you, Bibroni. Great to see you. Great to see you in San Fran. And I uh, hope to see you uh, before the next year, for sure. <clears throat> Nerdcore. Yeah, I put some reggae in there. Or maybe it's dancehall. I've caught a couple songs that I like. That's added. Um, we'll figure out some more stuff. One of these days, um, I need to refresh that playlist like something fierce. All right. We're just going to wrap it here today, chat. I'll be back tomorrow with the most thrilling stream in the history of Twitch. And uh, you should be there for it. Bye.